to you death and the other one wants yeah. to pull your teeth, I think that's about the same thing. Alright, and the tag team going up against them. Can we bring to the stealth? Ms. Fortune and El Diablo Blanco! Now our wrestlers will be going head to head to paint something that you, the audience, are about to come up with. Yell at me! What should they paint? Taco Dildo! Taco Dildo! Alright, so I just heard a cum gun. goes down, Mr. Muerte is off to a fast start. He, is, he has the ability to outdo El Diablo by having almost a minute ahead. <laughs> there is no rough tonight, but let me tell you, Mary in the green, I'll boot your ass if you touch our shit again. Yes. Root for Cum Gun, root for your wrestlers, don't touch their shit! These are competitors in a ring, you are the audience! Scream for your favorites and yell out the who you want! Our wrestlers will be fighting one another at some point. I didn't think I would hear a cheer for Cum Gun in a bar that is not a gay bar in a long time! Is it? Ooh. I didn't know. This is my first time being here. Oh, shit. Oh, no. And two of our wrestlers are on the floor. Mr. Marte gives an anvil ambo to El Diablo Blanco's back. And another anvil ambo to his midsection. Will El Diablo Blanco be able to get up from that? I think those booty shorts are helping him out. That wedgie is pulling him up. <laughs> El Diablo Blanco, even though he is in a tag team, is the only one to actually be drawing. Because Ms. Fortune, she's here for support. She is his manager. And she is tired. <laughs> Being a woman in today's economy is tiring. That man better work for her. Oh no, Mr. Marte and Killocutioner seem to be having some trouble being a good tag team. Blue tape seems to be involved. Oh, and Killocutioner is knocked out. Mr. Marte is knocked out. El Diablo Blanco's tits are popping out. <laughs> Tell me where you bought those on Amazon, because I might need a pair for later. <laughs> Oh, and Killacusher and Marte seem to be fighting! Oh no, will this tag team fall apart? We are rounding the three minute mark, three minutes left! Once again, our wrestlers are creating a painting of a cum gun. Also, each of these drawings is purchasable from the wrestlers who created it for $5. Give that wrestler five bucks and you can own this one-of-a-kind, unique work of art. Oh, and Morte gets it to the back! El Diablo Blanco is trying to readjust his paper, get it back on the board, and continue creating. Oh no, Mr. Muerte seems to be holding an empty cardboard box. What damage will that do? And a shot to the back! El Diablo didn't even see what's coming. Mr. Muerte is doing serious damage with that empty cardboard box. It's devastating, isn't it? It was a devastating blow, exactly. 
Oh, and Killer Kushner blinds out the Outlaw Bongo. He's swinging. No one's there, and he knocks himself out. And Miss Fortune wakes up from her stupor and steals Killer Kushner and Mr. Muerte's board. How will they ever draw? Oh, and chaos is breaking out. His easels are falling. Paintings are being stolen. We have one minute left, one minute left. Will these wrestling artists be able to finish their paintings of cum guns? How will this interpretation go? Will they just draw a penis? Will they draw a, a gun that shoots cum? I don't know. Your wildest fantasies are ready to be serviced. Yes to Ric Flair with the dildo. I love that. That dildo is um, nicely sized. I've seen the left gun before. Oh no, and Mr. Morte has the dildo! What is it gonna do? And he beats El Diablo Blanco with the giant dildo! Beaten to the ground! And he's smacking him with the belt! We have 10 seconds! 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam, 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 bam. And that is the end of the match, wrestlers. That is the end of the match. Now, with the chaos that has ensued, can we have a wrestler from each team holding their creation? What do you believe? What is that? You have to hold it. So, wrestlers, will the winner of this match be Killa Kushner and Mr. Muerte? I think they might have had some trouble working together. Or will your winner of this match be El Diablo Blanco and Miss Fortune? I think that's pretty clear. Our winners are El Diablo and Miss Fortune. Now, that's not just all you get. You get just a little more wrestling shoved inside you tonight. We have one more match. Will these bands get set up behind us? You need to push me out of the way, it's okay. Just, just push me this way. Now, can we welcome to the stage the tag team called Cousins for Life. We have Tommy Rash. And where's your cousin, baby? Sweetie, sweet, sweetie, where's your cousin? Where is she? Huh? Tommy, where the fuck are you, piece of shit? Where the fuck are you? Oh, and coming up from the back, we got Rodney Starr. Cousins for life. Oh no, he rips apart the album artwork! But going up against Cousins for Life, we have for the first time ever with AWL, can we welcome the band Prime Directive! Now, now, these two wrestling teams will be going up against each other to create a painting in six minutes of a topic you're about to yell at me. So what is the topic? What will they paint? I had a very interesting submission just now from, from the individual in the front. I'm passing off the blame. The topic will be turd booger. The topic is turd booger. Turd oh. Two of the most interesting uh, excrements from the from the body combined together. Turd booger. We have cousins for life going up against Prime Directive. In three, 
two, one. Bam, 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 bam. It's right there. Hey, wait, wait, wait. It's right there. The wind took it. The wind took it. Peasants for Life just really ticked off Prime Directive by ripping up their album. I don't know about this. I think Prime Directive. Oh no! I recognize that singlet. I think we're pulling some Andre the Giant vibes. And he gives him a smack to the forehead. Tommy Rash is on the floor. He's dazed. He's confused. But then again, he always is. He's fucking Oh no, the cousins are fighting. Probably over their other other cousins who they're also both fucking. <laughs> You know, you know what? What happens in the trailer park stays in the trailer park. Oh, and Proud Directive is facing off with Rodney Starr. Rodney Starr giving a sucker punch and punching his head, knocking him silly. Oh no, and he's down. Can Proud Directive recover? Our fabulous art wrestlers tonight are painting via submission of Crayola! Crayola! The markers that you used in grade school and then in a sweaty punk bar. Oh, he knocks him to the floor! Let him know how you feel, audience. Use your voices. We have four minutes, 20 seconds left. 420 left, 420 left. Oh, and Prime Directive takes him by the back and is bringing him down in a chokehold. And he taps. But then again, AWL doesn't have a submission tactic, so. <laughs> Whoops. I got a little excited. Oh, and Prime Directive is doing math, trying to figure out the coefficient of a turd burglar. Oh wait, no, wrong one. Not a turd burglar. I'm sorry. Turd burglar, turd burglar. Turd burglar? No. Turd burglar. Turd burglar. Pick your nose. Burger turd. Turd burglar. Whatever, that, that's, like, that's good. That's oh, good. and then, that's. And the team of Cousins for Life is certainly creating an interesting masterpiece. That, I don't know about that. Oh, and he smacks him on the forehead. He gives him another hand. He gives him a choke. More, more hair. Oh, and he's choking him. More out. hair. Will they be able to breathe? I don't know, and I certainly right, don't care. Shoot. I just heard twist his dick. A nice tattoo. Yeah, yeah. And he's on the floor. And Prime Directive seems to have the advantage uh, right now. Give it up for Prime Directive. We have two minutes left. Will Cousins for Life be able to come up from the back? Of course! Well, they're used to coming on the back because... Oh! But Prime Directive is going for full insertion. They're getting in deep and they are focusing on their composition. Now remember, these drawings are worth five dollars and it goes to support the artists for tonight. Audience, remember, our wrestlers are not professionals, but that does not mean that you are. Oh, and another smack to the back and another light smack, but he is so strong he just whacked him to the ground. It was a really light one, but let's be honest, it hurt. It was like Thor hitting someone. You just go flying. Doesn't matter. That was one punch man. Oh, and Tommy Rash is trying to go up against Prime Directive and then smack to the floor again. Oh, no. Oh, and he's bent over ass up. Woo! I would say that's a submission if I've ever seen one. <laughs> and we have one minute left. Can Prime Directive create a composition to outdo Cousins for Life? Oh, and he's hopping onto the other person, the other team's canvas. Can he, can he mess up the composition? As with all of our wrestling across the country, 
There aren't really rules, just suggestions. Oh, and the cousins are fighting! Tommy Rash is mad that Rodney Starr's wife can't decide between the two of them. Last time I heard, though, his wife is like his second cousin, and they're more twisted than a bramble batch. And we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. End of match, end of match. Wrestlers, put your markers down. So, will the winner of this match be? Fuck them! I don't give a shit who wins! Fuck Tom Shush! So, will the winners of this match be Cousins for Life? Or, will the winners of this match be Prime Directive? I think that's a simple one. The winners of this match are Prime Directive! Now we'll conclude this round of AWO. We will be back right after this wonderful band. The next band will be Lust Kill. Please welcome to the welcome them to the stage. Welcome, we are the Artist Wrestling League. Thank you for listening to me yammer on, but we are ready to get. Started. For our first match of this second session, can we welcome to the stage El Diablo Blanco? El Diablo and his partner Ms. Fortune won the first match of the night. Can El Diablo, as a single, keep up the streak? I don't know about you, but I'm interested to see what happens. And welcome his competitor, the Trailer Park Guardian, the man of a thousand stills, Rodney Starr! Southern states and Ohio's Midwestern. That's so right. they're That's safe for tonight. Right. Yeah. So these two wrestlers are about to go head to head for a topic. That's a Come up with the topic and yell at me. I heard Karate Jesus. Yeah. He's about to karate chop your sins away. Yeah. Chop chop. Cobra Kai, watch out. Let's go, Rodney, come on. All right. Rodney Starr versus El Diablo Blanco, creating Karate Jesus in five minutes in three, two, one. Bam, 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 bam. You got your own fucking way. They ain't got fucking shit. That's right, motherfucker. You draw that. You draw it. Let me start that timer because I'm bad at counting time. You keep drawing that shit. Yeah. What's here? Rodney, goddamn fucking Tommy Rash is supporting his tag team partner. Screaming and yelling. El Diablo Blanco is supported by his manager, Ms. Fortune. We have two fabulous wrestlers tonight going head to head. This is the first match of two in this intermission time, and then we will also be performing one more time at the end of the night. And oh. AWL belt will be up for grabs at the end of the night. You, the audience, will get to decide if the belt changes hands. Four an object! Four an object! Oh no, this beautiful cameraman with his very blinding light is causing our wrestlers to... Yeah, that's 
suicide. Why would you do that? That lady is holding that ugly man down, and that's pretty hot. Use your boot, honey. Step on me, mommy.
the ship to see the come in here tonight. You guys want to see a belt match tonight? I said, do you want to see a belt match here tonight? I challenge Tommy Rash, this piece of shit, to the Rust Belt in the final match. You got your fucking piece of shit! Fuck yeah! The second part of the evening. Hold on. Do I need glasses? I don't think so. Aha! Our next match. Will be one that was brewing in the beginning of the evening. For those of you who were not here early on, we did perform earlier. Oh no, it's begun. We had two tag teams go up against one another and we had the tag team of Professor Kilkushner and Mr. Moyerte. Hey Kilkushner! Listen you cowardly bitch, why don't you make your way back up to the ring and face me right now! And that will be our second match of this second part. Mr. Muerte versus Dr. Professor Kilkushner DDS. His name used to be longer, but he did lose the belt at one point. It used to be of the AWO Universe champion of all time. I got really tired of saying it. It was so long. I had to take a break in the middle of it. But we have Dr. Professor Kilkushner, DDS, coming to verse Mr. Muerte. What, now? Now! Alright, hold on! Right now! I will hold on! Let's hold on! Okay! I see you! I see you! It's a little bit of chaos right now. Our easels are made of wood, and sometimes they break. But then again, that's just part of the match, and that's his handicap. His handicap will be that he has to draw on his board without help. All right, we need something for these wrestlers to paint. Can I get suggestions from the audience? Pussy power for the win. in that arena, but I know that many of our audience members do, so it will be up to you, not me, to decide which one of our wrestlers draws the best vagina. You have pussy experience? Alright, alright, I might need assistance. It's not really my area of expertise. But we already have some kerfuffle on the floor. Killicutioner smacked Mr. Muerte's drawing to the ground. But Mr. Muerte's coming back with a shopping cart. And it's a shopping cart to the side of the ribs. He smacked it right into him. He says that he needs some groceries and he's about to get some. And Mr. Marte falls out of the shopping cart. I don't know where the hell he got that thing. And it's a smack to the back. Killicutioner is on the, is on a roll. Oh, and they're going all the way back to the new fight. 
Take him into the cage. We love you, fighting. Take him into the cage. Let's finish. Let's go. Oh. is down, barely holding on, using the shopping cart to pull himself up. Can he finish his painting of a giant vagina? Will these two male wrestlers be able to complete a drawing of a giant vagina? I hope they do because they, I think they both have experience. And we have assistance from one of our wonderful ring assistants. Give it up for our ring assistant. She is one of the best people. She keeps us together. I just stand up here and yell. She's the one that makes these matches happen. Kayla Kirchner is on the floor using purple liberally in the middle. I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe you need to get that checked out. But it could just be an artistic choice and not a malady. I don't know. Oh, and Mr. Martin pulls out one of his paintings and he lines it up and oh, through the head of Pillicutioner. He has been absolutely taken out by that canvas. That canvas is extremely strong and can withstand the strength of 10,000 pounds. It's just like the metal stairs at WWE. They're extremely strong and extremely heavy. Kayla is confused. He's just doing circles. Will he be able to pull it together and produce some pussy power? We have only... Dr. Professor Kokushner DDS. Or will the winner of this match be Mr. Muerte? I think y'all are just a little confused tonight. I don't know what's going on, but I need some booze and I need some yays. Let's try this one more time. Dr. Professor Kokushner! Mr. Muerte. I think I heard some more booze on this end, so your winner's gonna be Professor Kokushner of Yes! He managed to pull together that pussy at the last minute! Yeah! Both of these fabulous creations are available to you, our audience, for only $5. Come see the wrestler and get I'm drunk and standing on stage in this freaking outfit. I don't know what to do. I barely know how to hold it together. All right. We are set up for penultimate match of the night. So can we welcome to the stage from the Artist Wrestling League, Hold on, let me check this. I have, I have the memory of like a man. <laughs>
your wrestler name? I'm a Stone Cold 369. Welcome to the stage, Stone Cold 369! Now! I like this. This is, this is very direct. Now! What will these two wrestlers be painting? Yell at me your ideas! Still the Eiffel Tower! I think that's easy enough. These wrestlers will be creating their paintings of the Dildo Eiffel Tower! <laughs> Mr. Marte versus Rory Austin 369. That's right, that's right. In three, two, one! Now, I have been to Paris. That Eiffel Tower is big. Oh my god. I, I have seen an occasional bottom take bigger, but you know. Is it a phallic? You gotta be industrious. So I am interested to see. Do they include veins? Is there a big head on the tower? What is the base like? Are they going to take inspiration from my implement that I am holding? Mr. Muerte, do you need an example? Ah, drawing from real life. It's about the same size. It is about the same size as what you're working with, ladies. Take note. Or, or gentlemen, trust me. Hey, big boy. You know what? No? Not interested? No. Ah. No? Does it remind you of anything? Last no. weekend. No. Sad. <laughs> Alright, and we, oh my, we have a very um, tapered construction for our Austin 369. Rory is doing his best. For Mr. Muerte, it looks like um, we have a thicker base and a longer middle with maybe um, a rounder top. I don't know. It's ladies' choice tonight, so it depends on what you like. You know, um, there are times though when I'm like, a thicker head is not always that great because then it's just a like lollipop. It goes, like it, it, it has that pop right at the end and you're like, Woo! Yes. It's always surprising. So maybe a, a, a thinner head might um, go better. Especially if you have a thicker base, it kind of works you into it. I don't know. This is some monument construction that we're working on here. All right, add some more features. Oh, you, oh no, you want the dildo? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go, a real life. Come on, it's distracting. <laughs> drawing from real life. This, you know, this is... Look at that. Honey, people pay a lot of money to go to school to draw draw this. So hey, on, take advantage of the take advantage of what you got in front of you. Alright, we are rounding the corner as we create these constructions. And we have ten! away from your compositions. Now, audience, remember, you can buy either of these beautiful compositions for only five dollars. That money goes directly to the artist. So, will the winner of the... I really like this thing. This just adds a lot of extra to the winner. I need this on the end of a bat. You know, I need this. Somebody, somebody out there can judge me. I need you to make it for me. So, Rev is digging twisted. <laughs> will the winner of this match be Rev is there. Thank you. Mr. Muerte? <laughs> or will the winner of this match be 
Austin 369! Oh no, I think I hear some indecision in this crowd. Oh no, it's a bunch of French cars. I hear some structural complaints with this composition. I want to try this one more time. Will the winner be Mr. Marte? Or Austin 369? I think the winner of this match is now clear. It is Mr. Muerte! Now remember, you can talk to Mr. Muerte and come by his fabulous piece. He will sign it for you. I must. You can hang it on your wall and display it for everyone to see. Explain to them what the hell you were doing on Saturday night. AWL Rust Belt going up. Now, we have the AWL Rust Belt Champion, Tommy Rash. Shut the fuck up, Arthur. I have a few words to say to the students before this match starts. Now, before I fight, El Diablo Blanco, my former tag team partner, he is a piece of fucking shit. I have a few words to say to you, you degenerates out there, that fucking talk Tommy Rash's 
composition away from him. He is struggling because he knows he can't win unless he has a great painting. Oh, and he messes with El Diablo Bongo's painting. Oh, no! Can El Diablo Bongo recover from that slight? I'm not entirely sure because his easel is malfunctioning! Tommy Nash is able to use the color purple, which may be correct. I don't know color-wise. Purple may be close. Oh, and Tommy Rash and Miss Fortune are really getting into it. Miss Fortune is knocking Tommy Rash sideways. He is really just a crumpled piece of paper against her. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Oh, and a kick to the backside, and he's falling over. El Diablo Blanco is just able to spend all of his time creating his composition because Miss Fortune is distracting Tommy Rash from actually getting anywhere near El Diablo Blanco. Oh, and he thinks the speaker is his painting, and he is very, very sorely mistaken. Miss Fortune is drawing on him, just showing that both of them have plenty of time to create it's, it's a here. beautiful composition, and Tommy Rash has almost nothing. Oh, and he rips his paper in half. However, is he going to win this match if he does not have a painting? It's the wrong paper. It's over here. Shocked and aroused. <laughs> it looks like a piece of chicken breast just. Oh, now he's twisting the nipple and now the elbow bongo feels it. Oh, oh and that's that jiggly chicken breast to the face. Oh, Miss Martin really steps up and starts giving it to Tommy Rash. Yeah. Our Rush Bowl Championship is insane. Chicken breast just flying everywhere. Oh, oh and a smack to the face. That was juicy. <laughs> and we are only just now rounding the corner. This match is coming to a finish in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, The possibly smelly Tommy Rash. Ooh, I don't know about that. Or will your winner of this match be El Diablo Blanco? I think that ass shake sealed it. The winner of the AWO Wrestling Championship is El Diablo. And honestly, Tommy Rash is getting what he deserves. I hope you never get I'm not biased at all. Now, thank you so much, Stu, for having AWO perform for this halftime nonsense. We love this. This was so much fun. Thank you for having us, and we hope we can come back to you and bring this weird craziness to you once again. Oh, no. There we go. Thank you so much. My name is Arthur Nouveau, and we are always taking submissions for new art wrestlers, so if what you saw tonight was like, hey, you know what, I want to do that too, come oh, yeah. talk to one, enough, no, one of us, and we can probably convince you otherwise. Thank you so much, and for the next...
for uh, anybody who wants to enter the costume contest. Move your way forward right now. Right now. Come forward, you beautiful people, and bring yourselves up here for the wrestler costume contest. Thank you so much. My name is Arthur Nemo. Have a good night. Hey, I just want to thank everybody for being so supportive of this. I love each and every one of you so much. And if I didn't, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> and Mike Atkins Jr. loves me. He's my gay partner. Thank you. We fuck each other, me and Mike. Okay, so if you want to be in the costume contest, bring yourself to the stage now. People in the back, people smoking. Get up here and enter the costume contest. I cannot win this one myself. <laughs> Not only is this a costume contest, but you have to display your persona of the wrestler you are in the microphone and sh shred your steel to the whole crowd. So get up on the stage now if you want to enter the costume contest. We don't have many on the stage. Does anybody else want to enter the costume contest? Please stop saying costume contest. It's not a contest, it's a way of fucking life, brother. Yeah. Okay, so we have John Dre the Giants here. Hey, where's that sexy cowboy? Where's that sexy where's cowboy, sexy cowboy, cowboy at? I'm where's going sexy for the cowboy? sexy cowboy. I don't give a shit if he's not up here. Where's Minnie Mouse? Sexy cowboy. Get up here, bro, you little fuck. Get up here, Minnie Mouse. You've earned it. Silverman, you're out there somewhere. I don't have my glasses on, but I can see you, I think, in the reflection. Good going, Chandre. I'm just so strong, I don't know how to break stuff very well. Fuck me. Uh, okay, 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 I'm gonna step down. Oh, oh. everybody can introduce Oh, oh this is my course, barely. All right. I gotta do a bike cord. First, we got... El Dildo! We got El Dildo up here. Let's hear what you have to say, El Dildo. Come on, start your dance, start la baño. That's what he's got. Let's hear a round of applause for El Dildo. El Dildo! All right, come on, step on down, El Dildo. Wait off to the side. We'll see what the judges have to say. Who we got next? I'm the agitator! I'm gonna annoy the shit out of you. Woo! All right, we got the agitator here. He will finger all your parts, like your armpit and your nose, that you don't want to be messed with. Who do we have next here? all over your faces. Hell yeah. All right, she's going to smooth shit all over everyone's faces. Who do we have next here? The oh, green guy, guy. Green, green Goblin. Guy. Green Goblin. Oh. oh, dang. If you don't pick me, then that must mean you had to pee. So fuck yourself. All right, Green Master, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Green Bastard. Nobody vote for Green Bastard. Who do we have next here? I'm Orange Cassidy. I'm from wherever. Whatever, man. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, let's hear a round of applause. That's what we got here. Who we got next? Oh, we got a guy that just eats into my heart and soul over here. He's known as Miller the Killer. Let's hear it, Miller the Killer, what you got? I'm Miller the Killer, and my high lifestyle determines my death lifestyle. 
Let's hear it for Miller the Killer. All right, get the fuck off my stage, Miller the Killer. Oh. All right, who we got next here? The Macho Man, if you don't vote for me, I'll snap you like a slim jim. You know, that's a Macho Phil, Lady Savage. Oh, man. You know, I don't know whose mic this is, but I really like the red on it. Look at that. That's fucking sick. Who we got next here? Get the heck up here. Let's give it up for Captain America. I mean, 